It's a lab video on app services. We are going to learn <clears throat> how to wrap around your app service with the help of your Azure Active Directory authentication. Or to be more specific, let's suppose you are developing an application and you only want uh, this application uh, to be accessed by your Azure AD users. It is more like it is a public application because your, your people are accessing it from anywhere in the world. Uh, however, uh, without writing down any single piece of code, you can place Azure AD as a, as a first class authentication mechanism for this app service. And you can allow only your Azure AD tenant users to access that application. This is what we are going to do in this lab. It would be very simple and straightforward. But trust me, as an architect, I can tell you this, this will help you solve a lot of problem in the architectures or, or the requirement of the customers. I have, I have faced a couple of times and this particular feature helped me to fix it. Anyways, uh, in this lab, what we're gonna do, we are going to create an app service. Then we are going to uh, enable the authentication through Microsoft Identity. Uh, that means our Azure AD single tenant uh, uh, accessibility, our, our users only, okay? So very simple uh, lab, and I've already created the app service to save the time. So let's quickly go ahead and see the steps. Let me share my screen. And I hope you can see my screen now. Let's cover this lab. All right, so as you can see, we have uh, two app services here, app, uh, app E001 and app E002. Well, I've created two because in the next lab, uh, we are going to do something else. That would be very interesting, I'll show you. But for now, let's focus on our authentication thing. So what do you need to do? We need to go to the app service, just do this and under authentication right here, it was a classic, now we have the new one. Let's click on the new one. That's what we wanna do and we can add the identity provider. It's that simple, go there and select Microsoft. Now here, whatever we are doing here indirectly or it is going to register this app and create the service principle at the back end in our Azure AD uh, tenant, I'll show you in Azure AD. So uh, provider Microsoft create a new app registration. That's where the name of our app registration. And it's a single tenant so that we can give the access to our users only, right? And requires authentication. If you cannot authenticate, this is what the error you'll get. And we're gonna store the token. Okay, let's click add. It wouldn't take much time. Uh, while it is adding, if I could show you, if I go here under the overview and I'll click on it, on it, you'll see it's the prompt right here. I cannot access the application until I go uh, through this authentication. This authentication is coming from the Azure AD. For example, uh, under authentication, if I click, now you can see uh, this is what it is, identity provider. Microsoft, redact to Microsoft, token store is enabled. But in app 01, we do not have such condition, right? It's not enabled. And if we browse it from the uh, URL directly, it would give us the home page of the app services. Okay, uh, it's, it's loading right now. We can wait a little bit. Is this my internet or what? It never takes that long. Let me try again. Come on, let's do it. Anyways, while it's loading, oh, it's there. Cannot be reached, that, oh yeah, there it is. It could be my internet. So uh, that's how the home page is. But once we enable it, it will prompt for the login and that's what we needed. And only people who are inside your Azure AD, only users who are in your Azure AD can access this application after the login. Rest would be redirected to 302. If I go to 
Active Directory under Applications. And here it'd be FP002. This is what is created automatically by, by this service. So you need not to do anything, no code, no nothing. And your app service would have the authentication at the, at the beginning. All right, so uh, under enterprise applications, I can go and click on my uh, service principal, which got registered. And these are the settings that I can take care of or change it, assign it. Uh, but that comes later in this video. That's all we are going to learn. We plan to learn, which is going to the app service, click on it. If you try to browse, it should prompt for the login and allow only the users from the Azure Active Directory uh, to log in. For example, I'm part of this Active Directory and I would be able to access it, but this is the, 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 the first time, hence it is asking for the consent. If I accept it, I would be lent it to the app page, as you can see. And if I go uh, and, and show you under the Active Directory and users, I'm a guest user. Pachera Live is a guest user. So it doesn't matter whether you are a guest or the member, you can access uh, from that Azure AD. So this is what we, we learned. This is what we plan to learn in this video. Uh, app service, imp uh, implement the Azure AD authentication for the single tenant. Well, thanks for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.